These Loras are lit to the A to the F. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? What is going on in the world? Today, I want to show you something that is really mind blowing. And also some of you said they like this shirt. So I reached out to the company and asked them if they can give you a discount. And yes, I put the discount below. And also I have Pertz, who is amazing with motion Loras as the guest for my next live stream on Sunday if everything goes right. Let's get started with this video. All right, so we are talking about in-context LoRa for diffusion transformers, which means for flux. And this will apply images to areas in the image, not in painting, actually like following the perspective and the shape. And there is a ton of them. And this is not just a paper. This is a real thing you can do right now locally. You can also do these kind of scenes with consistent characters and all kinds of crazy stuff. And you can get an actual overview over all of that on their Hugging Face page. You see the different examples where you can put clothing on people or animals. You can put logos on objects or people. You can combine different characters into one image. You can put objects into these kind of advertisement shots and so on and so on. There's a ton of different stuff in here. Each of them has their own LoRa. So when we scroll up there, you have here the files and you want to download all of these saved tensor files here or at least the ones you need. Now the cool thing here is when you go back to the model card, you can see that each of these has has a link at the start. And when you click on that, this will also give you the workflow. So for example, here we have the Flux Simple Try On in Context LoRa. When you click on that, this will bring you here to the Civit AI page where you can download that workflow right away to your computer and run it inside of ComfUI. What you see here might look a little bit scary, but you actually don't really have to do much to actually use that. It's super easy. First of all, I want to point out this part here in pink that I have bypassed is to refine the image with the SD 3.5 model. I turned it off because it was really slow for me and the image quality is good without that. Then when we look here at this top area, you want to zoom into that. And of course here on the top left, we are loading our image of whatever kind of product we want to put on whatever kind of character. Then you want to go to the right. You can see that the left one is asking for the image input description. Here it is good to give a good description of what you want to use. And then on the right side, we have the output description. And this is why there's a difference here. So in the input, I write the image depicts a person dressed in a blue packable vest. And then on the right side, I have a model wears image one, blue jeans and a white button shirt. In both cases, I don't specify the gender, so it could be a man or a woman. Then, of course, you want to load the models. For that, we have this box here in the middle. Zoom in here and you can see that on the left side, we load here the guff model we load below the dual clip. Now here it said something different for them. It wanted to have a different vit L model. I use the best smooth model also works no problem. It also, I think, asked for another T5 XXL model. I used the FP16 model, worked just fine, no problem with that. And then, of course, also you need here the VAE for the Flux model. Up here, you can see a bypassed Flux background generator version 2. Now, this is not linked anywhere on the Civit AI page. You could probably use this one, which also uses white backgrounds as a LoRa. However, you can see that the value here is set to zero anyway, so it works also without that. So only apply that LoRa if you really need it. Right next to that, we have here the try on LoRa. This, of course, goes into your LoRa folder and you just load it from there. Very simple. After all that is said is done, you can just hit the render button and it will create the image for you. However, because I am bypassing this refinement and I actually want to end up with this combination image here, what I have done 
is that I take this output here that comes as the VAE output from this generation box. And this actually, as you can see down here, has the combined image. I link that over here on the right side to the input of the upscaler. This is just an upscaler using the model, not the ultimate upscaler. If you want, you can also, of course, put in here the ultimate upscaler, but afterwards you get this image and how cool does that look? You can see that she's wearing this vest. The color is a little bit different, but overall you can see that this works just fine. And if you're missing any of these notes, any of these boxes are red for you, you wanna go down here to the manager you click on that and then here you have install missing custom notes click on this this will open up a list here of all of the notes that you don't have or better said note packs and next to that you have an install button click on these install buttons wait for it to finish it will tell you it's finished and needs a restart and simply restart conf ui when we look on the website for the try on laura you can see that down here the workflow is is linked for the product design. And the product design LoRa is also the same LoRa that is using it with these two characters here. When we are looking on the GitHub page, we can see that example with this prompt here. However, this has an image one input and an image two input. So when I try to recreate the same thing, but with only one image input, this not surprisingly didn't really work for me. So the result that I get from this example is actually two images down below here instead of one image, one with just a shirt and then one with a woman wearing the shirt with the two characters. Now the results are still pretty stunning. It is just not what we want to get from here. Now there's a lot to try out here. So I also wanted to show you this example here where we put a logo on an object or a person. Again, you click here on the link. This is then bringing you to this Civit AI page where you here on the right side can download the workflow. Again, the workflow might look a little bit scary, but here you have to do even less. So you want to load the image you're trying to use. Then right next to that, you can see here the basics with the flux one depth model with the clip L and so on these clip models. Again, I used a little bit different clip models works just fine no problem. And then of course down here we have the VAE for flux and then right next to that you can see that here we are writing the prompt for what we want to have very easy and then just let this render. And as a result, I get this image here where we have the logo on the back of this big boned guy here. And what you can see is that it's not just the logo put in that position. No, it is actually following the surface of his skin, the bends and the curves in there. And that is the most important part here. The various options you get from these LoRa's are absolutely thrilling and something I've always asked for. And truth to be told, these LoRa's can be a little bit hit and miss, but keep in mind that all of this, of course, is early access. And most of the time when I tried it, it worked fine and gave me really stunning results. Let me know in the comments what you think. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to join my live stream together with Perts this Sunday. See you soon. Bye.